Hello my fellow investors, welcome to my Hindsight Master channel. In this series, you will learn about a Busa listed company in 10 minutes. The topics are mainly on its business, development and financial health. Today, I will be your pilot. All passenger, fasten your seatbelt, ready for takeoff. For your flight today, we will oversee a listed company called Tonghe. Tonghe's products are stainless steel fasteners which play an important part in our lives. Examples of fastener are screw, bolt and nut. Tonghe is a family business owned by Chai family, who are from Taiwan. Chai brothers have a few companies under their fastener empire. These companies include Tongming from China, Tonghui and Minghui from Taiwan. Tong Group started their first fastener factory in Malaysia in 1989, expanded to Thailand in 2004, and has diversified into aluminum products in 2010. Tonghe's main business is to manufacture stainless steel fastener, which account for 80% of revenue. So far, stainless steel fastener has two manufacturing sites, in Penang and Thailand. More than 90% of the products will be exported, mainly to countries like Europe such as Germany, Italy, UK, US, Japan and so on. Tonghe sells fastener directly to wholesalers. So, we will not know the name of specific customer. Since stainless steel has properties like rust resistant, hygienic and tensile, it is used in more stringent products and industries. These industries include petrochemical, food machinery, telecommunication, construction and transportation, which is part and parcel of the trade we are taking now. Due to its excellent qualities, Stainless steel fastener has minimal threat of substitute products. The raw material of stainless steel fastener is stainless steel wire rod. Since stainless steel wire rod cannot be sourced locally, they are imported from countries like Taiwan, Japan and Hong Kong. In order to prevent over dependence on a single supplier and thus supply chain disruption, Tonga sources their raw material from a large pool of suppliers. At the same time, Tonga sells their product to a large pool of wholesalers. Aluminium extrusion product manufacturing account for the remaining 20% of Tonga's business. At present, aluminium factory is in Malaysia. Sales of aluminium products will fluctuate with the aluminium price from London Metal Exchange. The raw material of aluminum extrusion product is aluminum billet and ingot. Metal products such as aluminum is cyclical, so merchants will sell at the price on par to the cost. In order to expand fastener business in Thailand, Tonghe bought nearly 49.9% of shares in THFT in 2016. Previously, Tonghe formed a joint venture with All Star in THFT and thus held a stake of 50%. Adding up, Tonghe now has a stake of 99.9%. The acquisition will facilitate future plans on their business expansion, enhancing cost efficiencies and human resource development. In order to curb further potential loss in Foucault, Tonghe has disposed its 35% equity interest in Fuku. Currently, Tonghe is building a third fastener plant in Thailand and is expected to be completed in 2019 Q1. In the past five years, Tonghe's revenue and net profit are increasing. Tonghe suffered a loss in 2015 because of one-time disposal of Fuku and thus recognition of associate loss and impairment loss within income statement. Tonghe has turned from a net debt position to net cash position, 
which indicates healthy cash flow. Tonga has been distributing generous dividends. However, management declared a lower dividend of 8 cents for the latest 2018 Q3. Tonga's functional currencies are USD and Euro dollar, but currency risks are offset by the natural hedging between purchases and sales. Recently, fasteners are highly demanded by European countries. Sales volume in Europe accounts for one quarter of the world. Europe requires substantial number of fasteners due to rapid growth in their three industries, namely automotive industry, construction activities, and industrial machinery. At present, Europe imports a large number of fasteners from Asia and is likely to increase significantly in the future. The EU anti-dumping regulation for China, Taiwan and Philippines have expired in 2017. Therefore, these countries can once again export fasteners to European countries. In order to protect their steel sector, EU imposed safeguard measures on steel in July 2018. The measures include quota and tariff on steel wire and bar but not including steel fasteners. From this measure, the price of steel wire rod will decrease and the price of steel fastener will increase, which is the best scenario for Tonghe. In global wheel, US-China trade war plays a big part. Trump imposed Section 301 tariffs on Chinese goods. Effective September 2018, Tariffs amount 10% will be imposed on steel products, including fastener. Starting January 2019, the level of the additional tariffs will increase to 25%. As we know, politics can change much faster than business. Post G20 meeting, US and China announced that they will suspend the 25% tariff. However, the date of suspension has not been officially announced due to disagreement on the conditions. According to such political development, many businessmen are reluctant to set up new factories in countries without tariffs. They are afraid that when the factory commences operations, perhaps US-China trade war is over. As a result, fastener companies with existing factories like Tonghe can export to US during this uncertain time frame. Recent world events such as US tax reduction, trade war and Brexit have no negative impact to Tonghe. The major competition risk originates from Vietnam. Vietnamese government has granted tax and facilities benefits to attract foreign direct investment in Vietnam. So far, 600 fastener companies from China headed to Vietnam to establish factories. Vietnam is expected to be a major supplier of fastener in near future. In summary, Tonghe is expected to prosper because 1. Robust industries development in Europe requires substantial amount of fastener. 2. Benefits from US-China trade war uncertainty. And 3. Acquisition of equity interest in THFT. Major risks are 1. Competition risk from Vietnam 2. Lower dividend and 3. Changes in product requirement from importers As the pilot, thank you for taking Tonghe flight. Please feel free to subscribe. If you wish to understand Tonghe further, kindly read the following analyst reports and newspapers. Thank you.